Welcome back, everyone. We are indeed live here on map two. Slight contact actually made there at the very beginning of the round near connector. Party astronauts now making their way up towards short. Makes contact at long. Puts down Jonji with the USP headshot. Spermie from behind default. Able to drop one. Looking for a second. Beaky backing him up. And Beaky able to drop two more with USP headshots there from Truck. Clean defense at the A site from B Hop. And we'll see if PA decides to force. I don't think they're going to. PA did buy a few upgraded pistols. It's Stan drawing first blood. Nice little ranged headshot there towards party from short. Beaky gonna put down Viz in connector. Further contact made by Stan. Kills two with the FAMAS from short. And it's a clean round again from B Hop as Sas gets that final kill outside of the B tunnels. B Hop did not lose a single player that round. And just like last map, B-Hop off to a strong start. But PA does have full rifles here. Three AKs, two Galils. Smoke tossed outside the B tunnels. B hop appears to be very prepared for any type of rush, but technically, Party Astronauts does have the weapon advantage this round overall. As Beaky and Spermy are still on MP9s here. Not saying that they can't get the job done with those, but they are going to have to be careful at range. Looks like it could be a 4-1 split here. Hey, that one is John G at long. He's able to kill Stan at the end of long. He's been spotted from bank. That's Beaky stepping out of bank to get the trade momentary or a moment later rather onto John G. Ben does headshot another in sight. Party astronauts has the man advantage. And they get the bomb planted with just nine seconds remaining there. Wreck. His headshot as he pushes into sight. That brings us to a three on three. Ben is low as well, side of sight, but it's Pwn from short. Killing Wreck and Silas off the repeat towards truck. It's just Spermy remaining. He does have a kit, but ultimately not able to get the final kill there onto DJ. It would have been close regardless. Party Astronauts does have their first round on the board, but B Hop is on another full buy here. Three silenced in fours, wreck on the FAMAS, Silas on the MP9. And Party Astronauts may or may not 
be expecting these rifles from B Hop. Party astronauts seems to be playing things a bit cautiously here, so they might be aware that B Hop is on a buy of sorts here. Spots at least one here at short. He knows there's more there. Still no kills going out. Silas pushing through the smoke at the main B tunnel. It pays off. He's able to kill DJ there with the MP9. John G got tagged down to half HP earlier in the round as well. 35 seconds on the clock. Moving up from short. Silas able to kill two there from monster to short. It's going to leave just Ben remaining outside the main B tunnel, and it's Wreck getting that final trade on to Ben. Lead B hop again up by two rounds, and Party Astronauts does not have the proper funds here for rifles. with two P250s, two Glocks. Fizz with a Tech-9. They're already on the B site. That was a very quick push from them. Once they decided to do so, that is. They are below heaven here in water, trying to find an angle, and they do. They kill Stan up there. Ben, able to get one at the connector door as well. He does trade out. Wreck from Graffiti finds two, actually. As he was dying there, he got off that second headshot just barely. That was pretty wild. Leaves us in a two-on-two -two situation. Just over 50 seconds remaining. DJ looking for that flank to heaven. And Spermy going to have to be aware. But it looks like DJ actually trying to regroup with Viz and make that flank onto A now. They are bringing the bomb onto the A site. Site technically clear at the moment. His beaky was outside of the B tunnels and Spermy was still in heaven. Spermy going to be the first to make contact here. He's coming around that bank corner momentarily. He's able to put down DJ close range. He's going to need to recheck that same spot. Otherwise, he's going to get popped in the side of the dome here. And Viz had an opportunity to shoot him in the side of the dome. Not able to do so. A uh, potential missed round there from PA as B Hop increases their lead to three rounds. And one off here at the main B tunnel, but it's DJ and Viz running rampant through water where they drop two. So the aggression from B Hop not quite playing out as they were hoping there. Okay, with the man advantage, Spermy tagged low in that initial exchange. He only has 27 health here. Spermy with a perfect spam through plywood. 
And Viz definitely not going to be too thrilled about that. His teammates now taking the bomb towards A, actually. They got about two up short. DJ still lurking over by the B water outside tunnels. Okay, making their way on to B. Spermy not able to shoot the first player that entered due to that flash. Does kill Ben. Pone able to find Silas as he was rotating there from heaven. And ultimately, Beaky able to slide his way into water. Beaky definitely the X Factor here as his teammate Spermy only has 27 L. Spermy is down. It's all up to Beaky officially now. 1v2 situation. Beaky advancing towards Monster. He's going to have to get a quick kill. Yeah, onto Pwn there. And then would have had to have turned his attention towards Grades where he had no info about that. So Beaky not quite able to pull that off. Pwn able to get that final op kill needed for PA. And it looks like B-Hop has called for a timeout here. Their economy has been slowed. It's going to be a majority save here for B-Hop. Play resuming B Hop indeed saving here. They do have a couple upgraded pistols, but it could be a rough round inbound here for B Hop. Still posted up over here near Long Stan, actually on the super stack there at the long fence. Spermy with a Zeus. Waiting to be sneaky there in bathrooms. And Stan, the super boost pays off. Hits a 1D, but Viz able to trade out a couple seconds later. Keen eye there from Viz. Spermy able to acquire an AK. He was tagged down to 38 earlier in the round. Pone now making his way on to B with his teammates. Does get the bomb planted here default. And it looks like B-Hop is already in position to just look for exits and save the weapons here. So this will be a third round going to Party Astronauts. Now trailing by one. They seem to have found their momentum here on the T side. B Hop is on full rifles again, Stan opping as well. Viz is able to headshot Beaky as he pushed past Long A. Stan there for the trade. 
ETA now making their way back towards B. They're right outside those B tunnels. It looks like they are going to commit to B. Sperm, you can have to get at least one there from Water. Wreck backing him up from Graffiti. Wreck able to tag DJ down to 14 health, but B Hop needs to pick up some defensive stops here. John G already going for that plant. Bomb has been planted default. John G hopping into water now. Spermy catches on, puts him down with the FAMAS. Wreck able to kill DJ in sight as well. And Pwn did get one with the op from outside of the monster tunnel, but Stan able to trade him out from heaven. And it's only Ben remaining here at Sandbags. Ben, here's the diffuse. It's a fake. Silas getting back on it now. And Ben off the re-peak. Almost had an angle to work with there, but ultimately hop able to finish him off there at short and get the defuse. through water kills one but it's wreck from short lining up three huge play there from wreck surely b hop can close out the round now stan able to put pwn down past monster and it's only dj remaining near monster now he's killed by wreck at short huge 4k on the round for wreck b hop now up by three but you gotta imagine there's still a lot uh that remains to be seen here from PA. And they're definitely not going to go down without a fight. Still fairly early in the map here. Welcome if you're just joining us. PA was able to take map one on Ancient. That was B Hop's pick as well. But B Hop off to a decent early start here on PA's pick of Overpass. Spots one there in connector, not able to put that off shot. Silas does kill one from party and then re peeks to kill two more. Eventually, DJ does trade him out with the op, but it's only DJ left alive here in connector. Still utilizing that op. Two seconds remaining. DJ advancing to the front of the A site. DJ with that late peak to long will be finished off by Beaky B Hop. Now with their largest lead of the map up by four. PA opting, oh, actually they do take a timeout here. They are on full rifles once more. It's four AKs, Ben having to settle for a Galil. So is this where we once again start seeing some momentum from PA here? It's actually John G off to a slow start here on overpass. Has just one kill registered at the moment, but surely that's about to change or very likely to. Live play resuming. Stand still opting here for B Hop. Or 
me able to finish off Ben here at the party. D Hop has a man advantage, but John G popping off there at short, helped out by Viz as well as they combined for four kills in that general area. That's going to leave only Beaky remaining here for B Hop. Beaky falling back through the CT stairs now. Bomb planted on the B site. D just saving the A1S here. So PA going to bring this map to within three rounds now. making their way towards B. Stan able to drop one quickly there through the monster tunnel. He's able to no-scope John G as well. Two-man advantage here for B-Hop. Spermie able to spam Ben through the smoke there at the main tunnel, and it's only Pwn and Viz remaining here for PA. Pone and Viz just looking to save those weapons. So B Hop about to increase their lead to four once again here. Spreading out here on their default. John G able to find Beaky, top of the connector stairs. Two man advantage now for PA as Ben is able to headshot Stan at bathroom's entrance as well. One here short, not able to find it. Instead, it's Johnji finding him. And even though Johnji got tagged down to nine, 
All five players of PA still alive here. Wreck and Spermie trying to do what they can. Wreck able to nade Jonji there at the front of the A site, but ultimately the bomb planted B. able to clean up those final two kills at long and again PA just trailing by three rounds and these final two rounds of the half definitely have a lot of implications here for B hop to feel comfortable going into the second half they need to finish this half up by at least three rounds but that's obviously in jeopardy now, especially since they're on an eco here. John G with some nice spam early here through that main B tunnel. Smoke! Him and Viz able to each get another kill thereafter, and that's going to leave only Wreck and Stan remaining here for B Hop. This was just an eco from B Hop, but. Every round is uh, it's definitely uh, fairly notable here since PA already won map one. Rack able to kill Ben there and Water Pwn does trade him out through the water tunnel bomb planted on the B side now. It's only Stan left alive for the CT side. He's advancing towards CT Hall's exit. He's about to wrap that corner near Stan. And on the peak towards Monster, not able to connect. DJ able to finish him off with the AK. And we head into the final round of the first half. B-Hop leading 8-6. to six. and Wreck able to each get a pick here opposite sides of the map. Great start to the round for B-Hop. Spermie going to finish off DJ through the connector exit door as well. And right outside that monster tunnel found by Wreck and it's only Pwn remaining here for party astronauts. does have an op in hand just over 35 seconds remaining now it's been spotted here near the B sites he does get one but Silas good for that final trade ultimately B hop finishing the half up by three Will that be enough to ride out the second half? PA is obviously going to come out strong here in the second half. I do have to uh, step away from the microphone for uh, potentially more than a few minutes here. So I'm actually going to temporarily mute the mic and I'll jump back on as soon as I can here, guys. So uh, you'll have to excuse me for just a moment.
All right, everyone, back on the mic here live. I apologies for the delay there. Beaky moving the eco rush through tunnel. He hits the first headshot. Make that two insane play from Beaky. What have I come back to? This is mayhem. Silas gets the trade into water as well. Viz and Pwn do get a couple trades in response, but B-Hop has the man advantage here on the eco. They're still up by two overall. This is a wild map we have on our hands here. Silas able to get those final two kills after picking up that A1S. A wild eco round there from B-Hop. Once again, I apologize uh, for having to hop off the mic there for the beginning of the second half. I actually had some family uh, staying with me here in the guest room, so I was helping them uh, pack up and load up the car there. But, uh, yeah, wow, that was quite a round to come back to there. Insane eco from B-Hop. If you weren't joining us earlier... Party Astronauts did pull off the W on map one. That was Ancient. That was a very interesting pick by B-Hop to go Ancient there in map one. Didn't quite work out for them, even though they got off to a very strong start there on Ancient. B-Hop got off to a strong start seemingly on this map as well. And then PA started to get close, but B-Hop is able to stay uh, at least two to three rounds ahead here for most of the match. Live play resuming. Be hot moving three players towards long, including the C4. Beaky over in connector, but it's Spurvy lining up three at long. Insanity, Stan. It's an off kill long as well. Pone is able to trade out onto Spurmy. It's only Ben remaining here for PA. Back able to get that final kill in to the bathroom's entry. B hop now up by four. Up. Very close to taking this to a third map. They just need to stay calm, stay focused here, and they should be able to take this to map three. PA still with time, though, to pull off the late upset here on overpass. And DJ looking to do just that kills Wreck in water from connector exit. PA still with the man advantage here. Stan able to kill Pone. Top of the connector stairs brings us to a four on four. Silas leading the way on to B here. Again, it's a late push from B Hop. They should be able to get this planted. Silas is in the smoke. B Hop really putting it all on the line here, but they do get the bomb planted. DJ, meanwhile, was watching the flank. He kills Stan at the connector exit. And PA does have the man advantage here as they look to retake. 
Sass able to headshot Johnji there at the CT Hall's exit head stack. Silas looking for more from Water, but he's blinded. Perfect toss from DJ, but it's Biggie trading back for two, but it's DJ in turn trading back for two of his own. And he's got enough time for the defuse as well. A dramatic end to the round there as PA again brings this to within three rounds. Hop off to a bit of a passive start here. Although they are showing some aggression towards long. That's actually the bomb out in front. Silas might need to slow down a bit there and at least one or two of his teammates get ahead of him. Spermy out in front at long, but it's Silas registering the kill. Double scope from Bank. Lands the headshot long. That's a huge pick. That balances things out. And Pwn has a perfect angle there towards bathroom's exit. But he actually turns his attention towards short connects on direct. Two-man advantage, or excuse me, man advantage for PA. On the peak from long, he's gonna kill two in the site with the FAMAS. And on the repeat, gonna kill Spermy as well. And party astronauts looking very sharp here late on map two. B Hop left uh, in a bit of an awkward situation here as they're. Low on funds, they don't have enough for a proper rifle buy. Let's see if they decide to take a time out here. Appears they're not going to. Silas leading the way for B Hop with 22 kills. V Viz, excuse me. Leading party astronauts with 25. Hop quickly rushing to the B side. It's a full save for them. Ben able to kill too quickly from short. And it's Viz from the bottom of the monster ramp. Killing those final two. Almost looked like three, but I think John G stole that first one. Actually, I know you stole that first one, John G, okay? But alas, uh, that does mean that PA is only trailing by a single round now. Things starting to get, or not starting to get, but things very concerning now for B-Hop. I still think they can push this to a third map, but this round is obviously extremely important. B-Hop will not have enough money to buy rifles again next round, of course, if they don't pull this round out. They're on four AKs and a Galil here, but it's Viz from the bottom of the monster ramp again. It's almost the same play as last round. Lines up three with the AK there. Silas and Stan do get a couple trades into water, the water tunnel area, but Silas has been spotted by the T-stairs. He does get one more, but Viz good for that final trade. Four on the round there for Viz, and that means we're all tied up at 14 rounds each. Here's the timeout has been taken here by B Hop. They're left in a bit of an unfortunate situation. They were up 14 10. Now it's tied 14, and B Hop cannot buy rifles here. 
Three tech nines, two P two fifties for B hop. Hop, splitting connector in B at the moment. Not making too decisive of moves yet, but Beaky's been spammed through plywood down to below half health. It's not a good sign there for B Hop. They can't afford any missed opportunities this round. They're gonna try to pull off the eco here at the B side. It's Viz again, picking up two kills from the water ramp. Silas and Wreck do trade back onto the site for two kills of their own, but it's Pwn exiting the CT. Hall's kill stand. It's actually a spam shot. Silas able to put John G down in sight. 1v1 situation, and Silas, after picking up that A1S, will get the final kill there onto DJ. And we cannot stress enough how big of a play that was from Silas. The pressure turned up to the max there and he still pulls it out B hop now at map point but it appears PA is actually called for a timeout as they try to figure out a way to push this to overtime it is a, a semi rifle round here for PA not the most ideal one but they do have two sound stem fours and op then on the FAMAS DJ having to settle for a scout And either my dog or my neighbor's dog has just started barking outside, so <laughs> might have to briefly excuse me if I have to handle that in a second, but we'll see. Ermi moving towards long. Silas actually peeking along. Headshots DJ. Minute 10 remaining. B Hop still taking their time here, as they should. I mean, you don't want to do too delayed of a play this round, but B Hop, I think, is playing things just at the right timing here. Their pace, rather, seems to be on point for what they want to get done this round but they're gonna to have to be very aware here as they step into water from connector ben is still in water there below the connector exit railing silas finds him great intuition there from silas wreck with a perfect flash to lead him in and i love the awareness of b hop all around there as they exit connector, they're gonna have to take care of Johnji though. Johnji does kill one from Monster Beaky. Gonna trade him out as he steps onto default. It's only Pone and Viz remaining here to keep party astronauts in the map. Bombs in planted, stand able to kill Pone off the rotation there. And it's only Viz remaining at short. Viz versus four, advancing past sandbags with an A1S. been spotted from multiple angles Beaky able to register that final kill there and B Hop has indeed found a way to bring this to a third map